Welcome back, everybody. If you are a Disney lover, you are in the right place. We have a cookbook that you will want to add to your collection. It's amazing, and it's aptly called Positively Disney. And we are here with the author, Kimberly. Kimberly, you love Disney. You are a Disney queen yourself. Tell us all about your love of Disney and the first time you went. I love Disney, but it actually started in my living room Sunday nights watching the wonderful world of color in black and white. And uh, <laughs> went to Disneyland when I was 12 years old and growing up in Western Canada, Disneyland was our thing. But I met my husband who grew up in Eastern Canada and introduced me to Walt Disney World. But it's the essence of what Walt has provided for a place for families to have fun together, and I still do with my kids. I know. I was, I was looking through photos because some of the pictures where your kids are little, yes. and then there are some where clearly they are, yes. you know, grown up, but you all still love it, and it's such I a do. special place. It really is. And you took some of that magic and put it into all these wonderful books. And this first one, I shouldn't say first one, the one we're talking about, because it's actually the sixth one you've put together is a cookbook, the Positively Disney cookbook. And tell us what's different about this book. So this cookbook is definitely one of a kind. It is the recipes from the actors and artists from Pirates of the Caribbean, Star Wars, Toy Story, Hocus Pocus, the original Mouseketeers, including Annette Finicello, and the voices of Disney, but their stories behind their recipes. So it's so cool to have a recipe from, say, Gosh. the voice of Belle on your table for dinner at yes. Thanksgiving and so on. It's, yeah, so I'm all about the story. So these are very meaningful recipes for these actors. Absolutely, I love seeing these, like, oh my gosh. Yeah, so this is actually Walt Disney's own handwriting of the things he preferred to eat and gave to his housekeeper. And there were some surprises in this cookbook. Uh, one had no measurements, but the artist <laughs> insisted on being creative. <laughs> and uh, several are actually illustrated that are one of a kind illustrations uh, about their recipes. And one very special, so Mickey has my heart, but Donald Duck is my guy. <laughs> and I brought you guys treats that have the original Donald Duck, Clarence Nash, his handwritten recipe. Wow. And his peanut butter cookies. Oh, and wow. that little Donald Duck is a stamp he'd carry around and stamp that, when he would write something. That is so cool. Mm. Now, do you have a favorite? Oh, gosh. You know what? Dish. I, it's, it's, it's <laughs> not character. I know your well, favorite it, character. It, it's kind of like asking uh, about your favorite child. But I have to say that this cookbook totally changed my love for vegetables. I was never a big cooked vegetable person. The eggplant recipe in there by Anthony Daniels, our C-3PO, is to die for. I could eat it for lunch, dinner, and supper. And I hadn't had eggplant in 40 years because <laughs> my mom had a disaster making that. She still hasn't eaten eggplant. I have to get her to eat mine. And then, of course, I've got the vegetable recipe of the voice of Belle, Paige mm. O'Hara. That it, The green bean recipe is, is divine. And yes, kids all love their green beans with that. And then Andy, the voice of Toy Story, so, um, John Morris, sorry, the voice of Andy, uh, his, his carrot recipe is just oh. unbelievable. Okay, so bring so. on the vegetables. I'm surprised, <laughs> but I am looking forward to having these cookies. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here. What an amazing thing you're bringing to Thank people's you. tables and lives. I absolutely love it. And you can feast just like one of your Disney favorites. Visit PositivelyDisney.com to get a copy of the cookbook, PositivelyDisney.com is where to go.